Greetings, my friends. I believe that God speaks to me on a regular basis. Why? Because when I tell you things that God tells me, those things have come to pass. I don't deserve anything. I don't know why God speaks to me. Maybe because he knows that I am bold like a lion and I'll share. I'm not afraid of ridicule. I'm not afraid of people mocking me. I'll say what the Lord leads me to say. I don't know. Only God knows for sure. I know I'm undeserving of anything from God. I know God uses me in a mighty way all for his glory because endless people have been have been saved and lives changed forever for Christ through my various ministries in the last 10 years on social media. And I give him all glory for that as well. I believe God just showed me that hurricanes are telling the story of God warning us of his total impending judgment and breaking everything down for us in a story. And I'm going to break it down for you. You can hear what I have to say. You can decide for yourself whether it has any merit or not. I'm just doing what I feel the Lord's leading me to do. He knows my heart. Let's break it down. There have been 15 major hurricanes since 2001. And what happened in 2001? 9-11. 9-11, as I've said many times, was the beginning of God's judgment upon America, his final judgment upon America. <clears throat> and that, what, what started the whole thing was actually a tropical storm named Allison, but she was one of the one of the worst ever of Colossus storms. She was not a hurricane. She was a tropical storm. But that name, Allison, means little truth. God found little truth in America. And I'll tell you the whole story, how God showed me how he's writing it. It's amazing how he wrote it through these hurricanes. It matches perfectly, and it goes chronologically through the years. It will blow you away to hear what God shared with me, what I believe he shared with me totally. So let's keep on going, shall we? It's 2001. It all started. And that storm started in June of 2001, and the number that was just three months before September, and that number three in the Bible shows God's completeness, or in this case, the completeness of his patience with the wickedness and evil in America. His patience ran out. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through what I believe that God showed me on this hurricane thing. And again, this is going to blow you away, my friends. This, it, just, it just amazes me how God uh, works through me. So again, 2001, God finds little truth in America anymore, brings 9-11 upon us. 2003, America began as a nation pledged to God. And these names I'm giving you, like little truth and pledge, they all tie in with hurricanes. And these are the 15 costliest hurricanes ever in the history of America. And they happen to begin at 9-11 and end with Michael happening right now, which they believe will be one of the most costliest also. So, Michael will be number 15. So then we have 2004. God was gracious towards us, and we were free men. I'll go through the hurricane names for you in a minute, too. This is really cool. 2005. We were God's pearl, founded in pure Christianity. He was our determined protector, but we turned to false gods. 2008. The staff of God will destroy us. He will laugh at our futile attempts to be our own gods. 2011. Peace is no more, gone from us forever. 2012, God is the defender of man. He protects the unborn who are aborted in what is supposed to be pure and holy. Laughter will no longer be heard in America. In 2018, Michael is the head of God's army against the forces of evil. America is evil. She is doomed. She is finished. And once again, that number 15 of the Bible depicts a nation who was once loved by and served God and is now abandoned by God, her freedom taken away. Does that make sense to you? Does, does, is that tiny in with you? This is amazing. Also, number 15, God grants an additional 15 years to live for many nations. From 2003, when the first major hurricane hit, to 2018, that's 15 years where we are right now, my friends. And again, let's go to the hurricanes really quick here, shall we? Isaac, again, uh, in 2012, laughter. Dennis. False God, Gustav, Staff of God, Isabel, Pledge to God, Jean, God is Gracious, Allison, Little Truth, Francis, Free Man, Rita, Pearl, Charlie, Free Man, Irene, Peace, Ivan, God is Gracious, Wilma, Determined Protector, Ike, He Will Laugh, Sandy, Defender of Man, Katrina, Pure, Michael, we already said, who is the head of God's army, and he cast Satan out in Revelation with all of his, his other um, fallen angels from heaven. So here's exactly what God is saying in all this. And also the number, the number 15 is the, the number of letters in the names 
unrighteousness and blood guiltiness which America is in spades. So here is the whole thing broken down via hurricane names, what God is trying to tell us. I believe he showed me this tonight. Praise the Lord. God was the determined protector of America, along with Israel, his pearl. We were a Christian nation, peer among the nations. We were pledged to God. He brought us peace. We were free men. While the war was communist and oppressive, God was gracious to us. We then turned from God to worship false gods of money, greed, lust, anti-Christianity, wickedness, and evil. There was now little truth found here. God now laughs at us in our puny efforts to circumvent him. The staff of God now judges America through these 15 horrible storms. There will be no more laughter in America. There will no longer be any peace in America. He will soon send Michael, the head of his army, to destroy evil and wickedness. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff, my friends. This is incredible. Jesus Christ is your only hope. He's your only hope for anyone. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, wits and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great. And look up. Our different draw with We fly soon. May God bless you all. Share this video. Help me get the word out, my friends. God has just given us. That's it. He's warned us. Our time is up. He's about to put the hammer down on us. Believe what you want to believe. I believe the Bible. I believe God's word. Bye.